five ways that you can improve your hand and grip strength for boxing. Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. This is a very important video as I'm going to be sharing some important tips and exercises to protect the most important tools to a boxer, the fist. In boxing, athletes throw thousands of punches on a daily and weekly basis. The forces that they actually put their upper limb through, they can punch anywhere between one times to four times their body mass. So the impact forces going through the upper limb is really, really high especially accumulated over thousands of repetitions. So the hands and wrists are very vulnerable to injuries. And this is why we see a lot of injuries in amateur and professional boxing. So this makes grip strength exercises really important tool within a boxer's preparation. So we get asked this a lot across social media and there's lots of different grip strength exercises out there but what are the most important and most effective tools that you can use and integrate into your training. In this video I'm going to be sharing top five tips on how to integrate grip strength exercises into your physical preparation. Tip number one go for endurance holds. Training strength endurance is a very important tool to use to train grip strength and protect the hands and wrists. So doing stuff like pinch grip holds, doing that with a BFR stimulus as well, farmer walks and integrating a grip strength element into your training. Doing loaded carries where you're actually training postural stability, shoulder strength, core strength at the same time. Doing this unilateral where we're training the obliques but also we've got heavy weight in our hands, it's challenging grip strength there. Dumbbell step ups and doing heavy loaded dumbbell step ups. Instead of doing it on the back with a safety bar or a normal bar, we're doing it with dumbbells. We're overloading the lower body, but also overloading grip strength at the same time. So there's a few different ways that you can challenge your grip strength without just kind of standing there doing pinch grip holds and just staring into the mirror. But pinch grip holds are a very useful tool. You can also challenge grip strength in a range of different ways by integrating it into your normal strength and conditioning exercises. Tip number two, go for maximum force. A lot of grip exercises or kind of wrist exercises are done at quite low weights and for high volume. However, as we mentioned in the introduction, boxers expose themselves to extremely high forces through the upper limb. So maximum strength is really important and this is why we test it as part of our advanced testing battery at boxing science. So we need to create high forces, so doing like pinch grip holes for higher weights, but also doing stuff like getting a strength dynamometer and going for maximum scores. Even though that this is a testing protocol, it's also a great tool to create that intent and to have a max force stimulus during grip strength. So handheld dynamometer, going for grip strength and going for maximum scores over three or five second bouts. This will help increase the maximum grip strength. Tip number three is to be training the open and closing mechanism of the fist. So when you deliver a punch, obviously you come from a relaxed state instead of being tensed up and then tense at the end range. So it really relies on that kind of that stiffness of the upper limb, but also you have a closing action of the fist. Even though you're in your gloves, you're still slightly relaxed and then you're going into being really tense. So we need to train this open and closing action. This is what I've learned a lot from Ian Gatt and we did a workshop on this back in 2020. So if you haven't seen this yet, go and check out the video that's in the description for more kind of insights into hand and wrist strength for boxing. And also go and check out our boxing size membership as well. But the open and closing action can be trained with various exercises such as pinch drops, getting a plate and just swapping it from hand to hand. You can also do this kind of rotating and also you can do a pinch pendulum, which is one of my favorites. So yeah, these are all exercises that I got from Ian Gat and also the workshop that I did, at the Boxing Science Conference 2022. This is fantastic content and you can see another kind of insight to that in the link in the description. Tip number four is challenging wrist flexion and extension. So boxers are quite predominant in flexion because this is where they land most of their punches. So they're quite weak in extension. So when they go for a punch, and let's say if their wrist goes back, this is where a lot of pressure is created in the hand. What we're needing to do 
is to try and increase the extension forces of the wrist. So we can do this various different ways. We can go for external internal rotations. We can go for reverse curls. And we can also go for single arm farmer carries. Again, another fantastic exercise that I got from this workshop that we did with Ian Gat back in 2020. So tip number five is using the sand bucket. So we're talking about that open and closing action that we need to train, but also there's a lot of different demands on the hand, like the twisting and turning, and we're actually turning that punch over. But you can train the opening and closing at low volumes, like using a band. That twisting and turning is really important as well, and it's quite hard to do that with an external weight load. Doing it with a sand bucket, getting quite deep into that sand bucket as well, challenging like a few different ways, opening and closing, could do twisting to the inside, twisting to the outside. You can go in with your hands closed and then open. And you do this quite large volumes. So you do a minute on each protocol and then do this for around five minutes. You can also increase the physical stresses by using blood flow restriction training. Basically restrict the blood flow, restrict the oxygen that's being delivered to the working muscles. So then this will increase physical strain and increase physical adaptations around the muscles, around the wrist, the forearms, and the upper limb. So this is a fantastic way to do this. This is for like kind of low intensity, high volume work. So it's good to protect the hands. Also really useful for anybody that is coming back from a hand injury. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. They're my top five tips and increasing grip strength for boxing. A big shout out to Ian Gat for the work that he's done in this area. I said before the content that he's done for Boxing Science and the content that continually puts out, what's influenced a lot of the grip strength work that we do at Boxing Science. So the videos that he's done for Boxing Science are linked in the description. And also go and check out his page to go and check out his upper limb courses. So big shout out to Ian Gat. Not subscribed yet? Hit that subscribe button so don't miss out on any future content. Hopefully see you on the next video at Boxing Science.